Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the programs using function call by value. Learning outcome. At the end of this section, students will be able to write a C program using function call by value. Now before seeing this video, students must watch the following videos on the function. So now in this session, we see the problem statement. write a c program to check whether the two given strings are an anagram or not using function the first of all we see what is meant by anagram anagram is nothing but it is an another string that string contains the same character but the order of the string is different so here we you can see that the first so here you can see that the first string is pair and the second string the second string is pairs so here the anagram means what the pair and the peers the peer string is formed by it is having the same characters but the order of the character is different so here s is there after that p is there a is there r is there e is there and in the peers first p is there after that e is there a is there r is there s is s is there means anagram string is nothing but it is a it is a another string and that string is formed by by containing the same characters but the order of the character is different so here p comes first then e comes next then a comes next then r and s in the original string in the spare the s is first after that p is there after that a is there after that r is there and then e is there so here spare and peers are anagram so so we will see this program on code block so first of all here we include the header files here i will take one function check anagram okay the return type of that function is integer it takes two parameters of type character because we need the two string so here we declare the two character parameters okay the name of the variable is str1 and str2 and it is the end with semicolon because it is a function declaration after that we see the main function in the main function we require the two string so here in c we know that string is declared by using the character array so he, so here the data type is character str1 is a character of one array and str2 is a second array for storing the two string So after that we display the printf statement input the first string and then we use the fgetest function for taking the input from the user next we use the another printf statement for reading the second string from the user and again here we use the fgetest fgetest function so here first we use the if decision control statement in here if check anagram check anagram function is called and here we pass the two string str1 and str2 if both the strings are equal to 1 then str1 is assigned to the value slash -0 but here we calculate the length of the first string and minus 1 and we initialize the slash -0 at the string similarly str2 is we first calculate the length of the string 2 and then here we str ln of string 2 minus 1 then here this str2 is assigned the slash -0 If both the strings are same, then we display this message on the screen that both the strings are anagram. So here, percent s and percent s means this percent s value is stored in the str one and this percent s value is stored in the str two. If if the check anagram function is called and if str one and str two two strings are passed. and if it is not the same means it is not equal to 1 then here the else part is executed and similarly here we are again calculate the length by using str ln function and we initialize the slash 0 to the that string then str2 similarly and we display the message on the screen ki percent s and percent s are not anagram and that percent s value is stored in the str1 and that percent s value is stored in this str2 so here we use the if else statement for displaying whether the given string is anagram or not next we see the actual anagram function so we know that the return type of this function is integer the name of the function is 
take anagram it takes the two parameter of types character so character pointer str1 character pointer str2 so here we take the two character array str1 and str2 character store so here we initialize the value to 0 next we keep the one counter value then here we check the length of the equality of the two string the two strings having the same length or not that's why here we use this str alien function so here we use the if if str alien of string 1 if it is not equal to string 2 then we return the value 0 the two strings having the same length or not that's why here we use this str alien function so here we use the if if str alien of string 1 if it is not equal to string 2 then we return the value 0 that we use the for loop for counting the frequency of characters in string 1 so here we initialize the counter value to the 0 that counter is initialized till the str1 of counter is not equal to slash 0 we know that the string is ended by the slash 0 character so till when uh, till the loop is continued till we not getting the value slash 0 and after that we increment the counter so here what we key what we see here we use the one character array yes so str2 character of character so here we check character of character we store the in character array ki str1 of counter if it is there then we increment the value of that counter variable means what here we checking the frequency of each and every character in str1 similarly we count the frequency of character in str2 again we use the for loop and that for loop is starting from counter equal to 0 and that loop is iterated till str2 of counter is not equal to slash 0 here we have used the second array and str2 of counter plus plus every time we cal calculate the frequency of the character then after counting the frequency we compare compare the character counts of both the string again we require the loop because it in the character array we know the character character by character so for iterating every character we require the for loop and here again for loop starts from 0 till 256 character because our array size is 256 so that's why the loop is iterated from 256 character and then we check the counter we increment here we use the if if character one of counter uh, character counter of ctr is not equal to uh, if it is not same character two of C, uh, character counter to uh, character then it return the value zero to the man function otherwise it returns the value one to the main function this is the function body of check anagram see once again we see what is the logic here applied so check anagram function here we declare the two character array for keeping the frequency or for counting the frequency of the two strings so here first we check both the strings are having the same equality uh, same length or not if the both string both the strings are same then and then only we return the value zero if the string length of str is not equal to str2 we return the value zero next we take the two for loops for counting the first for loop is for counting the frequency of counting the frequency of each character in str1 and the second for loop is required for counting the frequency of character in str2 after that we compare the character counts of both the string if both this if it is not equal we return the value 0 if it is equal it return the value 1 after that we compile the file so click here build then we run the file enter the first tree spare and peers spare and peers are anagram because here the peer string is nothing but it is another string but this string is formed by containing the same character but the order of the character is different now after seeing this program can you tell me if the length of the input string are not same then is it possible to check anagram of string pause the video and think about it the answer is no 
if it is not same then we cannot check the anagram of the two strings these are the references thank you